PoE's new leak, Settlers of Kalgor, is literally right upon us. It's two days away. Uh, a lot of people are excited. I'm excited. We all can't wait. Friday can't come quick enough. But in my last two videos, I've done kind of my process of how I'm picking a leak starter. And I have highlighted some of the potential builds that I'm looking at to start my leak 3.25 with. And I have to say, this is probably the most in-depth labor intensive approach i've taken to a new poe league and my starter uh, i started playing poe in the crucible league so i'm very new to poe now what this video is and what this video isn't if you are a season season sorry poe player then this video is probably not for you outside of the fact that maybe i may highlight a build that i'm looking at that maybe you haven't seen but i doubt it most of the builds now are pretty well all out there now i know there's new mechanics new class balance changes coming to 3.25 that have kind of mixed up the build variety for the new league however if you're a seasoned poe veteran this video is probably not for yours but you're more than welcome to watch it please do so this is more tailored to a poe player similar to myself fairly new not very knowledgeable doesn't have wouldn't be able to create a build from scratch like myself and they're out there like me scouring the internet trying to see what should i play what looks good what should my league starter be so if you're new to poe and you're in the process that i'm in right now because you got two more days to make the final decision on what your league starter is then this video is for you and oh by the way go back uh to my playlist my path of exile playlist and watch my last two videos on potential league starters for 3.25 that'll add even more builds for you to look at and contemplate whether or not you want to be a league starter so this is what this video is and as in my last two videos i want to put a big big asterisk on this video this is not me telling you what to play this is not telling me or highlighting here are the op builds for 3.25 like i said earlier i would not be able to build a character from scratch in path of exile well I could, but it probably won't be that great. My point is I am in no way an expert in Path of Exile, nor am I saying that these builds are the meta. I am just documenting my process of the league starters that I'm looking at potentially to play in 3.25. And oh boy, can I not wait to get into this new league it's going to be it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun anyway so that's what this video is that's what this video is not now let's get into a couple of more builds that i want to highlight that i'm potentially looking at potentially it being a league starter for me now before we get into that a lot of you continue to watch my videos but yet do not subscribe if you can find it in your heart to hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate the support on my content thank you okay let's look at a couple of more builds for potential league starters for the new league coming to path of exile the settlers of Calgore. here we go okay first up is the explosive arrow champion this build guide is brought to you by no other than the god poe player himself ziziran and if you have any exposure to path of exile you know exactly who i'm talking about ziziran produces a lot of high-end content very knowledgeable guy in the space and knows Path of Exile like the back of his hand. And Explosive Arrow Champion is brought to you by Ziziran. Now, as far as the build, if you're looking for a tanky build that can still deal enough damage with any boss in the game, Explosive Arrow Champion, according to Ziziran, is one of the best league starters. Now, some of the strengths that come with this build, like I said, it's very tanky, it's SSF friendly, and it's a safe play style. The fact that it's very tanky makes it hardcore viable. If you're a player that's going to be doing hardcore in Path of 
of Exile 3.25 Settlers of Kalgor. You might want to take a look at this build. It's highly recommended if you want to play hardcore. Now, as far as weaknesses, it's got low recovery, average mobility, and delayed damage. Now, this build does have a low starting budget, which makes it perfect for you league for you people that are looking for league starters that don't require a lot of early game investment the tankiness makes it one of the best builds in hardcore as well and sorry i keep harping in on hardcore but i have a lot of people that play hardcore that are in my community like myself however the new mechanic in settlers of calgore are just too good uh not to miss so for the purpose of content and i'm doing this now with all of the games that i play i will always start a new league a new season a new cycle in softcore and then eventually progress to hardcore anyway if you're looking for low difficulty, very low budget, average mapping, great bossing, and amazing defense, the Explosive Arrow Champion is for you. And thank you, Zizaran. Okay, up next is Garath, Archmage, Frostbolt, Ice Nova, and he is predicting this is going to be one of the best league starter builds. Now, it has received some nerfs. It's going to, there's going to be higher mana costs, but Garath does go into how you can offset that and one of the buffs so a positive for the build with 3.25 is the endurance charges are a lot better now while i was watching garath's video and what intrigued me to this build and why i'm potentially going to look at this as a potential leak starter for myself is garath got into the leveling of this build and i have to say he's recommending up to level 28 you level uh, during the campaign with rolling magna and then after level 28 you can level with firestorm and then he recommends at level 31 you can start running arc mage with firestorm now why am i highlighting this if anyone's leveled up in the campaign or in path of exile for that matter rolling magna is one of to me anyway i've had a lot of experience uh using rolling magna for leveling and it's a really quick nice skill that gets you through the campaign nice and quick so i want to highlight this if you're looking for a a fairly quick build for to get you through the campaign this build has a nice setup for that so thank you for the archmage frostbolt ice nova Garath. okay and up last a lot of people have been asking me about minion build so i couldn't leave off minion build as a potential leak starter so thank you gazi tv for the zoo mancer necromancer it's this build is low difficulty low budget average mapping great bossing and amazing defense Defense. It is one of the strongest minion builds around. It has multiple defense layers, high life recovery, and strong defense from an early stage of the game. Very few other minion builds can compete with it defensively. Even with all these defensive layers, it still packs a large punch with damage that you can scale all the way to end game. And I have to say, uh, Gazi TV does a great job in illustrating this. If you you should know who Gazi TV is another great content creator and of path of exile very knowledgeable guy especially when it comes to minion builds so i'm glad we got to highlight the byproduct of gazi tv's hard work and knowledge now when it comes to this build the strengths are the following very tanky great all-rounder ssf and hardcore viable again if you're a hardcore player you might want to take a look at this gazi tv is recommending that this is hardcore viable uber boss viable i know end game bosses are a lot of people prioritize and they want builds that can not only complete all the content but really challenge and defeat the uber bosses so this is uber boss viable now let's highlight the weaknesses according to gazi tv slow clear speed visual clarity <laughs> the screen is busy guys spectra corpse management and legion farming are all highlighted as weaknesses from gazi tv all right everybody if you're looking for a minion build this is one of the top ones the Zoomancer Necromancer. Thank you, Gazi TV. Okay, well, that'll do it, everyone. Those are a couple of more builds that I'm considering for potential league starters for myself for 3.25. Like I said in the opening, we are two days away from the launch of Settlers of Kalgor. And uh, 
everybody's excited. I know I'm excited as well. This will do it for me when it comes to showing you and presenting you builds that I'm looking at potential league starters. I have to make a decision. So I'm going to spend the next two days analyzing all these builds that I've highlighted and I'm going to, I'm going to have to pick one. Uh, time's running out and this is like, I got to stop looking at builds. I could be here all year. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. Like I said in the beginning, if you're new to POE and you're scouring the internet, hopefully my two or three videos helped inform your decision making when it comes to league starters for 3.25. Anyway, come and check me out, guys, live on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. I stream every evening, 7, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are prepping for Settlers of Kalgor. Come over, say hello. We'd love to have you. We have a cool and chill community. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see ya when we see ya. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.